Hey friends, welcome back to Faith Foster Fire Life. I'm Val. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Today, let's talk about three misconceptions regarding foster care. So May is National Foster Care Month, and so this is our third video in our series all about foster care. Here on Faith Foster Fire Life, we talk about everything fire related. My husband's a firefighter. We talk about some homeschool. We talk about Christian living. And one of the main things we talk about is foster care. So today we wanted to talk about three misconceptions that we hear all the time in our 11, almost 12 years of fostering. The first one has to do with finances. A lot of people think that you have to be wealthy to be a foster family. And that's just not true. So whenever a child comes into care, the state provides a stipend to the foster family. This is a dollar amount that is paid on a monthly basis based on um, how many children you have in your care. That dollar amount does change depending on the type of care the child needs. So if you have a child that doesn't have any sort of um, medical um, health or um, emotional needs, high needs, then you're going to get the basic stipend amount to care for that child. And then the number goes up from there, just a few dollars each day. And that's just to help to uh, offset the cost of caring for that child. So you do not have to be wealthy to do foster care. The second myth or misconception that we hear is the exact opposite, and that is foster care is lucrative and people are doing it for the money. This is also not true. The daily stipend amount that a child um, gets is enough to cover their basic needs. This is to cover the increase in food, utilities in your home, things of that nature. It is not a amount of money that a family could live on. You cannot do foster care and use it as a paycheck. You would never be able to cover your expenses. Um, just doing foster care. And um, we are going to do another video separate from this all about the qualifications to become a foster parent and a financial um, sustainability check is part of that process. So they will make sure that you can already, um, you know, cover your costs, your bills and run your family without doing foster care. They want to make sure that people are not trying to take in children to add a source of income to their home. So there are stories out there about people um, taking in foster kids and um, it's doing it for the money. Um, if that's the case, then they are living at a very low level, a poverty level. And how they're maintaining their foster care license is quite surprising to me. Of course, there are people that fall through the cracks and they get away with things that are just unthinkable. Um, but our experience has been that all the families we know, they, you know, they can uh, pay for their bills without their foster care stipend and the money that comes in goes to caring for the children. So those first two misconceptions about you have to be rich or you're doing it for the money are both huge misconceptions. It's actually right down the middle where you will get a stipend to help care for that child and it's just about enough to care for a child. The third misconception that we hear all the time is that you have to be a married couple to be a foster parent. And that is not true. Um, you can be a single person, you can be married, you can be divorced, you can be widowed, you can be, um, you can just be in a cohabitation situation, boyfriend, girlfriend, um, you can be a lesbian or gay couple. They, you can be any of those things. Um, what they're looking for are people who have sustainability in their lives. They have the room in their life to care for a child. So your home study will help them determine that, but your status of being single, married, divorced, um, boyfriend, girlfriend type of situation, none of those matter. That is not a, um, a qualification to be a foster parent. We hope that us clarifying those three misconceptions helps you in your decision to become a foster parent or if you're ever talking about it with someone else and they uh, believe these things you can tell them that those things are not true and you can help them make the decision to become a foster parent so I hope you guys 
found this video valuable and give it a thumbs up and we'd love it if you would subscribe and you can look out for more videos coming about foster care all in the month of May and we would love in the comments below if you could share with us your experience with foster care and maybe some misconceptions or things you think about foster care that might be a misconception. Maybe you're right on, on target and maybe it's not true. So we would love to help answer some of those questions. So leave them in the comments below. And like I said, share this video with anybody that you think might, val might find value in it. And we will see you in the next one.